Because today, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to introduce you to a new species of human ancestor. A new species. He is pretty, he's worth applause, isn't he? <laughs> a new species within our very genus. A species that we have called Homo naledi. Naledi meaning star. And the chamber we have called the Dinaledi chamber, our chamber of stars, in reference and respect to the magnificent cave system that revealed them to us. They are an extraordinary species. Known now from the largest assemblage of early fossils ever discovered in the history of our science on this continent, with more than 15 individuals of all ages. It is one of the most extraordinary privileges of being a paleoanthropologist that by becoming familiar with the biology of these fossil hominins, we gain the ability to speak in many cases for species that no longer exist and can speak for themselves. Homo naledi's skull is most similar to other early members of our genus, species like Homo habilis and Homo rudolfensis and the earliest component of Homo erectus. However, they're different in many respects. And this is a composite. We've reconstructed what the skeleton would look like by taking evidence from what must be separate individuals. But it gives you a very good picture of what this creature would have looked like in its whole body form. There is a saying that when you eliminate all the probable, you are left with the impossible. The Homo naledi, and I, I hope you can see, this is a reconstructed skull done by Peter Schmidt, one of our colleagues, how tiny and petite these heads are. It is a tiny-brained hominid. It is a creature that we would have never suspected of complex behaviors. And that has led us, ladies and gentlemen, to the rather remarkable conclusion that we have just met a new species of human relative that deliberately disposed of its dead inside of the Dinaledi chamber here in the cradle of humankind. The impact of that is significant. Until this moment in history, we thought that the idea of ritualized behaviors directed towards the dead, things like burial or secreting your dead into deep chambers, was utterly unique to Homo sapiens. It, in fact, perhaps identified us. It may have been our singularly unique thing. Us, Neanderthals, archaic Homo sapiens, a recent phenomena that separated us from the animal kingdom, the idea that we recognized our own mortality and other self, and that we would go to great effort to remove friends, relatives, and even the unrelated bodies from the external environment and place them away from that world. We saw ourselves as different. We have now seen, we believe, a species that had that same capacity. And that is an extraordinary thing. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a new species of human ancestor, Homo naledi. The discovery of a new species of primitive hominin in our own genus reveals much about our own origins and our own ancestors. In time, it will reveal much more about ourselves and will probably tell us about our future as well. This will generate interest from beyond the scientific community. It will inspire poets and writers to revisit Africa's rich oral traditions and to imagine ways to retell the story of our own common ancestry. It will encourage us to inquire further about the whole scope of human existence, the world around us, as well as the world 
that lies before us. We expect that it will catch the imagination and will also be able to stimulate the interests of people across the globe, people who are excited, people who want to know more, people who want knowledge. I want to remind us of the words of Philip Tobias, actually, when he said what this discovery is truly about. He said that the, wor the work that Lee Berger and others do is essentially about establishing the scientific foundation for a common humanity. And in a world when we're killing each other, when the world when we forget that we belong to a common humanity, this, this kind of research and this, this kind of discovery is absolutely crucial. And it seems to me that that's what we must remember here. That what we're announcing today is a discovery that establishes the scientific foundation for a common humanity.